I have a battery of questions that I ask new personal training clients when we're trying to decide if I'm a good fit for them. The most important question in most instances is how many days a week are you willing to train? It's a bit of a trick question. The answer to that question gives me a framework with which I can create a schedule. That's important. But I only do that after I take a client's answer and run it through a complex equation to arrive at the actual answer. It goes like this. I take their answer and I subtract one day from it. That's the real answer. You can think of it as answer equals n minus one. As in whatever answer you give me, I'm going to subtract one from it and that's going to give you your program. So five days a week becomes four days a week and three days a week becomes two days a week. I think you get the idea. And I deduct that one day and I call it an ego tax because inevitably a person's ego is making the decision and commitment for them and the ego doesn't really know its limits. By removing one day from the answer, I can encourage sustainability. I can encourage behaviors that are going to last. I honor those limitations, even though a client might not necessarily agree with me when they hear my explanation. But that's because everyone has unlimited capacity on day one. But what's going to be left on day 10 or day 100? or day 1000. Limitless is a beginner's outlook. Veterans have a much more realistic perspective. The latter understands limitations. They make them work for them. They do that with effort and deliberate practice and conscientiousness in all actions. When I started vlogging, I did it every day for 30 days. But that was for skill and habit building on my part. I didn't even tell anybody I had a channel. There were no viewers, so there was no social contract to keep it up on a daily basis. It was a good challenge and I moved to twice weekly after I completed it and felt like I had at least a little bit of a grasp on what it took to produce two videos per week. I wanted to be consistent and provide better content. That's the phase that I'm in right now. But what I've realized doing this twice per week for as long as I've done it is that once per week is probably a better schedule. Just like weekly workouts for new clients, weekly vlogs probably need to be put through the same equation. N minus one and all that. Because after all, like a new client, I'm a new vlogger and that equation probably applies. Maybe even more so because we live in an attention economy. Asking you to subscribe or watch my videos feels like an imposition. It feels like an imposition on your attention. I'm imposing on your time and I'm, if I'm being honest, imposing on my own time because I want to create decent vlogs and that means a lot of time and effort spent in that pursuit. And to be honest, I don't even know if I'm achieving that. But what I do know is that there's only so much attention to go around. There is only so much time available to you and to me. Respecting that, I think that one video a week is probably all I should be doing. It's within my limitations and I can make that work. I hope you can too.